हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स ग्रो आई होप यू आर वेरी वेल एंड डूइंग ग्रेट इन योर लाइफ सो टूडे टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज साइनियोसिटी इंडेक्स एंड प्लेटफॉर्म इंडेक्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन सो इनिशियली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द साइनियोसिटी इंडेक्स सो वट डू यू मीन बाई साइनियोसिटी इंडेक्स साइनियोसिटी इंडेक्स इज द रेशियो ऑफ थालवेग लाइन टू द स्ट्रेट लाइन डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ द कर्व सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द थालवेग लाइन फॉर दोज हु डिड नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू रिपीट अबाउट दिस थालवेग लाइन दैट थालवेग लाइन इज अ लाइन ज्वाइनिंग बाय द पॉइंट्स ऑफ मिनिमम एलिवेशन इन अ रिवर रिच Suppose this is our stream channel, which is representing the Thalweg line. This Thalweg line representing all those points at cross section of rivers, which are showing the minimum elevations. So, if you join the extreme point of the river, this is going to show the stream channel, and if you join this extreme point by a straight line. which is showing here in the form of dotted line then you can calculate the sinusity index as the ratio of length of the stream channel which is represented by the thalweg line divided by the length of the straight line distance so sinusity index is always more than 1 because as you can see here the length of the stream will be equal to or more than the straight line distance between these extreme points so this is the formula to calculate the sinusity index of any river in the upcoming upcoming videos i am going to do a exercise on which we are going to calculate the sinusity index for a actual river so what if the sinusity index is less than 1.1 it will generally represent almost a straight stretch as you can see here the stretch is almost straight if sinusity index value is less than 1.1 what if the value of sinusity index is from 1.1 to 1.5 it will represent the sinusoidal curve in a river plan form the plan form i have discussed earlier so what you will see here you can see a small curve in the form of sinus so this is the figure which is representing a sinus curve what if the value of sinusity index is more than 1.5 then it will represents a meander river a river is called to be meander river when the sinusity index is more than 1.5 as you can see here this is form of sinusoidal curve but the value of sinusity index here is more than 1.5 so this river can be treated as meandering river i hope you understand the sinusity index this is the tabulation of all the values corresponding to which we can define the type of a river the straight is for less than 1.1 it will termed as sinus if the value of sinusity is 1.1 to 1.5 and a river will be termed as meandering when the value of sinusity index is more than 1.5 now we will discuss about the plane form index so plane form index represents the percentage of actual flow width per braided channel so before discussing it let us first see the image of a braided channel so this is a image of braided channel what you can see here whenever there is low discharge in the river you can see the bars here bars means exposed soil or exposed bed of the river you can see that water is flowing in some of the part and some of the part is exposed by these land these land are called called as the bars there are a number of bars which are exposing 
इट विल अकर ड्यूरिंग द लो डिस्चार्ज ओनली वेन एवर अ हाई डिस्चार्ज इज पासिंग थ्रू द सेम रिवर इट विल सबमर्स्ड बट इन लो डिस्चार्ज दीज बार्स आर गोइंग टू एक्सपोज सो वेन एवर दीज टाइप ऑफ बार्स आर एक्सपोज इन ए रिवर दैट इज टर्म्ड एज अ ब्रेडेड रिवर सो प्लान फॉर्म इंडेक्स इज यूज फॉर द ब्रेडेड रिवर टू रिप्रजेंट that what is the percentage of actual flow width per braided channel means in how much width of the flow water is actually flowing because if we see at the complete width of the river the water is not flowing through the complete width of the river it is flowing in a small number of channels so to see or to know about the idea that what is the percentage of flow width per braided channel it is used this index reflects the fluvial landforms disposition with respect to a given water level so plan form index always given with respect to a water level because if water level is high these bars are going to submerged and whenever the water level is low these bars are going to exposed now if we look at the formula that how we can calculate plan form index for any of the river you can see here this image there are basically two channels this is channel 1 and this is channel 2 the top width of channel 1 is t1 top width of channel 2 is t2 and here you can see a small bar this is a small bar which is exposed the total width of river we can see here is b now the plan form index for this river can be calculated as t by b into 100 divided by n where t is the total width of flow t1 plus t2 and b is the total flow width or total width of the river and and n is the number of braided channels here there are two braided channels you can see here now the most important point is this that lower value of plan form index is indicative of higher degree of braiding because if there are more number of braided channels in a river it is go it is going to show the higher degree of braiding because here it is n is the number of braided channel for a braiding river if n is increasing then the plan form index will decrease and pl if plan form index value is low it will indicate the higher degree of braiding so this is all about the sinuosity index and plan form index i hope you really like this video if you really like it make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video and share it with your friends thank you again to watch this video 